Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from March 6th to the 12th, 2023. Capricorn, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. March 6th to the 12th, 2023. Nine of Wands, King of Cups, channeling your emotions, having to prove yourself, persevering. Um, are you in a new job? Are you feeling a little stressed, challenged, challenged with this new job, challenged with this new project or new business? Or it feels like you're working in a new setting and you're, you're, you're mastering your emotions like you have to keep your control your emotions in control because you're up to a new challenge not in a bad way so yes it feels like a new a new job you're working with a new team new idea um let's see where this goes yes there you go creating growing into something new good for you capricorn here you are the devil in all your glory capricorn um yes it feels like you're you're moving into a period of growth of creation uh, it feels like a new job it really feels like a new job and it feels like you're in a new company now it doesn't have to be that it can be, you know, you creating your own business, you finally developing that idea, putting yourself out there. Um, but it, it feels like you're, you're, you're trying to prove something. You're trying to prove something for yourself. Too many cards. Um, and um, you're, you want to remain... Um, it, not in control, but, you know, balance. You want to show the world that you're balanced. You're, you got this. You got this. You're okay. You're excited because you're going into something new. You're creating new or you're working on, you know, with a new team. And you don't want to show your stress or you don't want to show your doubts or your anxiety. But that anxiety that we usually have when we start something new, right? When we are entering a new job or working with new people, that's the way it feels. Uh, I, I feel like, let, let's see why we have this devil. Yes, there we go. Ace of Cups, attached to a certain way. Uh, but I feel like um, in this circumstance, with these cards, this devil which is you, Capricorn, is about passion. Passion in your work, passion in your job, passion in this new, this is new. It feels like a new platform where you can develop your talent or a new platform, a new team, like I said, um, that you really enjoy working with. This is something you enjoy working on, whatever the, whatever the project is or the company or the, the energy in this new team. Maybe you're developing something new. It's creative. It feels creative between the Empress and the Ace of Cups and the Ace of and the King of Cups. You're working hard. Wow. But it, it's exciting. It's exciting, uh, Capricorn. Good for you. Good for you. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what this is all about. You're perfecting your skills. Maybe, maybe this um new job, new platform you're working on new team you're working on, um, new business, whatever it is, maybe it's requiring you to gain more skills or, and that's why you have the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, not Knight of Wands, right? Maybe that. Um, whatever it is, it feels like this is something that you're really excited about, that you're attached to certain ways. Capricorn and you know that you like things prepared you 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 don't like things at the spare of the moment so this is something probably that you've been waiting for and so now it's almost like you you don't want to show this team or these people sorry I'm gonna sneeze sorry about that sorry I don't want to, 
I don't want to start this reading over because it's a really good one. Um, yes, you, you you don't want to show anybody your anxiety. You just your poker face, poker face, um, Capricorn, and uh, not surprising, right? And Knight of Wands, but you are excited. This is this is a joyful moment, but it's funny because. You don't, it, it's poker face in showing your stress, but also poker face in showing your joy. You don't want to be overjoyed. You don't want to be passionate or all excited. Even if you are, you are, you're, you're keeping it all inside. You're keeping it all in, inside, but it, you're happy about this. And, you know, Knight of Wands, excitement, excitement to move forward on this. It's almost like you're a little kid inside or teenager inside, right? This is giving you passion excitement joy i love this capricorn uh the last couple of readings have been a little you know difficult there you go right the deception it's right here the past ones it doesn't matter now you're moving forward um uh three of wands and you're expanding so the three of wands is success you're waiting for that success, but also, you know, expansion, planning your future and planning your future with serenity, right? You're okay. You're balanced. You got this and you don't want to show the world your excitement and you don't want to show your world, your, the world, your anxiety or your stress. You want to say neutral, but boy, are you boiling inside and is it fun? I like this. Um, you might be taking on more responsibility in a job, stepping up, stepping up in a promotion. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, pushing the envelope in a company. So getting a promotion, taking on more responsibilities, taking on another job in another service or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful. I, it feels like you're excited. Yes, the tower. Not surprising, but I feel like the tower is a good thing here because you know this is different and you finally realize that this opportunity, this new job, this new business, this new idea, whatever it is, or school or whatever it is you're doing, it's passionate. It's passionate and you've been waiting for this. You've been working really hard on this and you're still working on your skills, working on your, your experience learning new skills, uh, meeting new people, connecting with new people, and making sure you're absorbing as much information and energy as possible to start this new job. I feel like you've already started it. And the tower here is you understanding after all this, these situations and, you know, the obstacles that you've had along the way um, to let go, let go of the deceptions, let go of the regrets, this five of cups, um, just healing, purging the past, purging those layers upon layers of, you know, feeling um, stuck and disappointed with people, with circumstances, with jobs, maybe not enough money, or you were promised something, or you were promised a job, or you thought you were going to get more responsibilities with a promotion, or you start you you thought you were going to start that that idea or that that project or that business or whatever. And it and it has been tricky. It has been a long journey. Uh Capricorn, you're not the only ones. Most signs have had a long journey everyone in the, in a different way, right? Everybody will resonate in a different way. Everybody has a different life, right? Take it as it resonates for you. But this tower is you finally letting go, letting go and entering this new self, right? You are a different person and you're maneuvering into a different world. Finally, finding your place, um, understanding and just the excitement of being in the right place, working with the right people with this Ace of Cups. Except, you know, I think if you haven't found this yet or haven't found your vibe yet or have been continuously disappointed or, you know, pushing through the obstacles, I think that this is a massive change and this is almost like unexpected, right? So let, let go. Let go of the regrets, let go of the past, that job, that situation, those people, whatever it is, it will be different for each and every one of you. But I think that you're rebuilding and this is a moment of rebuild and, and it's a moment of awareness 
and that it's that that you um, understand that it's time to break free from the old ways and um, and the old ways also of thinking that you have been holding back or these ways of thinking that have hold held you back right and this is the spark that sort of puts everything in perspective but it's positive the tower is not always negative it is the moment where you're rebuilding the moment where you're shifting changing it's a big change i'm surprised you don't have the justice but it's just understanding that to put everything in perspective, to do things differently, and to just completely transform your career, your job, your life, and and um, to break free from those challenges. There will always be challenges. There will always be obstacles, but they shouldn't define you. They shouldn't define the path you want. They shouldn't define the job or the career you want. You cannot define your career, define your career from the obstacles or the difficulties. Everybody has difficulties. Everybody will have obstacles or decisions to make or shifts and turns and uh, to and, and understanding to adapt and under, understanding that things are different, right? That's the challenge of the moment still today to understand that things are different. And that whether we want it or not, we don't have much of a choice, right? So it's up to us, each and every one of us, to adapt to these new energies and make them our own. Adapt them to our own life, adapting to our own ideas, our own businesses, our own powers or empowerment, right? With this star. There you go. Moving into a much calmer energy. Uh, and also you're working so hard, uh, Capricorn, that you're growing, you're growing with new skills. Uh, you might be even, you know, taking classes, taking evening classes or having people mentor you or showing you the ropes. I feel like this is a whole new job, a creative job. It doesn't have to be, but it feels very creative. Even if it's not a creative sector, it feels like your job in particular in that company is creative right along the line. Um, and it's, you're growing, you will grow in this job or you're growing in this job. And it's, it's also you understanding uh, what you're made of, understanding what you bring to the table and how powerful you are and how you can make a difference and how you can bring something different. It's very empowering. This reading is very um exciting at the same time stressed and that stressful and that's exactly what I was trying to define or explain in the beginning it's like you don't want to show the world that you're stressed you don't want to show you the world that you're excited about this new project business job take it as it resonates but you're boiling you're boiling inside and this is changing it's changing your path it's changing also your your mindset your energy your emotional energy that's okay, uh, uh, Capricorn. You can show your, your, it's almost like you don't want to show your emotions. You don't want to show your, you feel like that's weak. I don't know why I'm saying that, but you can show your emotions. That's okay. It's okay to be emotional when we find that good job or, or we finally feel comfortable or we finally feel we made the right choice or we finally feel we're working with the right people and it's exciting and it's interesting and you're in the right place. Good for you. It's really the joy of connecting Capricorn. Let's see if there are a few more messages in the second deck Capricorn weekly money and career March 6th to the 12th. Good for you Capricorn. I mean, and thank you. Thank you to each and every one for watching this channel, for watching these readings. Capricorn, you have been top of the list from the beginning of this channel. So thank you to each and every one for um, pushing this channel forward and for, for being there for me, right? And uh, uh, connecting and uh, commenting and liking and sharing your journey. So thank you to each and every one for subscribing, liking, sharing your energies. That is how I push forward in my readings. And here we have the justice. That's what I said. I'm surprised we don't have the justice because it's a big decision. It's a big change. And justice is you taking control, 
making that decision, making this happen, you are choosing. And if it's not you, a universe, the universe has sort of pushed you to, you know, in the right direction. And if you haven't made the choice yet, uh, I feel like it's, you know, the, it's, it's, pushing you little by little uh, to make that decision, to align yourself with what is most important for you, um, what serves you, what will serve you in the future, a job where you can grow, a job where you're going to be happy and excited and performing and, and also just finding your tribe and finding the people you really enjoy working with or that company you really enjoy working with or even starting your own business. But this is your idea. This is your choice. And you're sort of aligned with what is most important for you with the justice. Justice is about cause and effect. Um, it is the result of hard work or the result of what all these energies you've had accumulated along the weeks, the months, the years, where now this is sort of culminating to the right choice, the right decision. Finally, you're making a decision. It feels like that. Finally, you're making a decision and finally you're pushing forward in um, what is most important for you in that job, in that project. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It can be justice. But for here, it it really it really feels like this is passionate for you, right? And so finding this job or finding this opportunity to grow in a company, I feel like it's a company more than a. It's almost like you're you're creating in a company. Um, you're a stylist. You're an architect. You're. I feel like you're. You're sitting at a desk and, um, you know, with uh, computers and and designing something. So whether you're designing programs, whether you're designing fashion, but you're utilizing technology. So you're utilizing technology to to uh, for architecture, for blueprints, or for for um, clothes accessories or or um um or or your programs but the programs okay so the programs you're you're working on wow maybe this this is very specific so maybe it's just for one person out there the programs you're working on are for something very creative and it keeps feeling very styling like clothes are you know accessories so maybe you're working on programs to design clothes, but it feels very, I can't figure out if it's high end, very high end or very low end, either or. But you are have the excitement of actually working on something innovative, something that is, um, you know, you're, you're, yes, you're designing via computer. I'm sure there are millions of people that do that, but it can be, Oh, or animation. Okay. Anyway, uh, whoever you are out there, you're at a desk designing at a computer. So whether it's, you know, clothes or animation or architecture, or you're utilizing a computer or programs to create, right? Whether it's animation or, or, um, oh, okay. Animation, movie animation, um, oh, manga or, or cartoons or, wow. Okay. I have a little bit of everything, but it feels like it's a bubbling, a bubbling, um, a bubbling place, you know, of creativity. And so whether you're on the creative side or whether you are working on tech and working on, um, you know, the programs, computer programming to, um, animate or design something. Okay. Let me know what this is all about because it's been, I feel like I'm speaking gibberish, but it, it feels like a hustle and bustle within the office, um, where, uh, this is all designed. Wow. You're going back to something complete transformation. There you go back to square one, but in a good way, there you go. King of Pentacles, there you are, Capricorn, more money coming in, moving forward on a creative project, money is coming in, there you go, and working in a team, there you go, right? It's 
but it's a massive decision. Then maybe you're going back to a, a job, uh, you know, um, that you used to do um, back in the day, whatever, right? Or maybe you're back to something you really loved. Uh, but it feels very creative. It feels like you're either working with, for Disney or you're working for uh, a Japanese manga or you're something like and then and then on the other side i have working on you know um designing clothes and mass market clothes and also high-end clothes i don't know this is a lot going on a lot in my mind and but it's it's working for a big big company so I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is for one person or several people, but comment down below. Let me know if you connect with this. And if it's not that, because maybe that's just for one person, you're entering a zone of creativity and you're definitely starting something very creative and starting something that you're very passionate about. And um, I also have, yeah, cartoon. I mean, I'm, okay, I'm going to stop with the animation. Uh, but it's, um, it's rewarding. It's financially rewarding. And you're moving forward on that. And you're not alone. You're working with a team. You're, you're several on that, clearly building something. So, and it's completely transformative. You're going back to something, but learning from scratch. Or you're going back to something you know how to do, but that you haven't done in a while. And and you have the tower and the um and the death card, which is completely confirming that this you're entering a complete new life career life. Because I don't want to say this is a new career you've never done before. I feel like you're going back to either back to a company that you really liked, or back to a team you really liked, or back to a or back to a city or a country where you are going to work for a company or something like that. Something is familiar, nostalgic, and you're going back to something that you really enjoyed. So good for you. Good for you, Capricorn. I love this reading. I love this complete transformation in accepting your new world, in accepting the new you, and accepting to start a new adventure. I'm surprised we don't have the fool, but we have the ace of cups, we have the passion, we have the the creativity, the growing within this new path, this new company, this new business, whatever it is. Money is coming in. It is a massive decision. It is a big decision that you're taking. I think you're pushed into this, but pushed into this because it's almost like I feel like you have taken your time to make this decision. It has been a long way. It has been a long path back and forth to the right, to the left. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do something else? Testing the waters, not being happy, being disappointed, right? The deception, the regrets to have uh, done something else or worked with other people that you weren't satisfied with or worked with another company or, you know, another situation. And that has pushed you, pushed you forward to make that decision to go back to that company or go back to your it's almost like going back to your roots, right? Going back to what you, you're going back to your passion and whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be, you know, designing. It can be something completely different, but it's you really excited. And that's why I feel you're so excited to do this. You don't want to show the world. You are just really, really happy to do this. Coming into your own uh, Capricorn beautiful all right let's see if there's one last message th for the road and let me know what this passion is all about capricorn let me know what this thing is um i love hearing all your comments i love seeing how you are connected thank you capricorn for all your love for your support in this channel all right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Yes, yes. <laughs> the confusion. But this is exactly it, Seven of Cups. Back and forth, back and forth. I want this. I really want to do this, but oh my, is it time? Or oh my, can I do it? I'm doubting myself. I'm not sure. I want to try something else. Oh, that didn't work out. I didn't like those people. Let me go back. But oh, I really want to do my passion. I really want to go back to that company. Or I really want to go back to that sector I used to work in. What I know best, right? Or I have to, but I haven't, this is how it feels. It feels like you were, um, and this is just an example, right? It will be different for each and every one of you. But the example is for 
so maybe five, ten years ago, or or even two, three years ago, it doesn't matter. Pre world situation, maybe, right? Uh, you were working uh, in the in the um, uh, in designing, right? In uh, computer uh, computer designing or, or designing. Uh, let's say you're designing clothes, or let's say again you're you're um you're you're um working on uh animation right and so you're very good at that and that's what you were doing before and then you shifted to something else which wasn't satisfactory right which you weren't satisfied with and so you want to go back to your passion and you want to go back to that company you used to work with or back to that city you used to work with or back to that team you you really enjoyed working with but you have to hone on your skills a little bit. You have to, to maybe take a few classes because maybe the the programs have changed or maybe, you know, you have to step up and learn a few more skills to catch up on the new programs, on the new um, whatever it is that takes. I don't know anything about that, but whatever it is that, you know, you can design all these things in, right? And so you have to, you're so excited, but you still have to work a little bit on um, on your skills, but you're good to go. So it's confusing for you and there's some obstacles for you, but you got control, right? But for you, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. That's why, but you are making the decision, even though you have been disillusioned and maybe you have several choices, maybe it's a little confusing and a lot of work, but it's worth all, all the work and all the patience uh, and all the obstacles, obstacles along the way to make it happen. Back to your passion, Capricorn. Hang in. This is beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Uh, push forward. Push forward. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for supporting this channel. Again, for watching, for subscribing. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you so much, Capricorn for always, always knocking it out of the park. Thank you. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.